Hi friends, um, it is a rainy Friday here in Brooklyn and I am about to vote, so I thought I would take you along with me. It's another, I'm sorry, very US centric video, but um, I think our friends outside of the US get why I won't shut up about this right now and why none of us should and they will forgive me, I hope, for a couple more weeks. I got my ballot in the mail and New York usually requires an excuse to vote by mail, like you have to be actually out of your area or you have to have some sort of illness or something um, to be able to get an absentee ballot. But this year, for the first time, they are allowing um, people to get mail ballots and use COVID as an excuse. I could just pop it in the mail, um, but because this is the first time my uh, state has been doing vote by mail at this big of a scale. It's just gonna make me feel better um, If I hand it in in person first, I actually have to vote So I'm gonna take my ballot out and do that right now. All right um, It will surprise no one That I am voting for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris um, Because I want my friends and my community members to live. I'm also uh, getting to vote for my member of Congress here. And I also get to vote for my state senator and state assembly person. Um, and state senate and a state assembly are the offices that really I get the most hype about because um, they can actually get things done. They do quite a bit because of the way that our government is set up, good old federalism they actually have a substantial impact on your everyday life like far more than i might venture the president does they tend to also just be much more accessible like they represent far fewer people so you can meet them you can talk to them um, i've been uh, calling with a bunch of you to help um, turn out voters for state assembly and state senate candidates throughout the country and some of them like email me back <laughs> some of these candidates so like they're not hard to actually talk to you and tell them how you feel if you do want to help us with this phone banks by the way there's a link in the description to sign up i also have to vote for six state supreme court judges now they're non-partisan these offices um, so it's really, really difficult to find any information about them. There are only six candidates running for these six seats, so it's kind of whatever. I could leave this blank if I wanted to, but if you have judges on your ballot, I really, really urge you not to do that, even if it's hard to find out information about them, um, because often these judges that we elect are the people that um, then the federal government gets to appoint for federal judge positions, and those, who boy, do they matter. I wrote a little series about the federal court system that I will put in the cards up here if you wanna learn more about that. But this is kinda like the pool <laughs> that they can pull from. So um, I do try to do some research. Filling in some bubbles for some judges, judgy bubbles. Judgy bubbles. Now I just need to sign it, the back of the envelope. Um, that's really important. I don't know if every state does that, but in mine, it's a huge deal. You've got to sign the back of your ballot, um, and then I've got to seal it, and then I can go drop it off. Which is October 16th. All right, uh, did I sign and date it? Yes. Did I put my marked ballot in the envelope? Yes. Did I put my sealed ballot in this envelope with the barcode in the window? I did. Did I put postage on it? I'm not going to put postage on it because I'm about to go drop it off. So in New York, you can drop off your ballot at your early vote location, which are open in the two weeks before election day, but um, those don't open for another week. Um, as of the day that I'm doing this, so I'm just going to go drop it off at the Board of Elections now. And this is actually going to be my first time getting on the subway since February, so I'm kind of excited. Okay, so real quick before I get on the train, this NBA arena, you see they've got their little voting thingy up on that screen, is my polling location now, uh, my early vote location. 
um, because of the NBA protests. So shout out to the Milwaukee Bucks um, because my early vote location used to be way, way farther away. Um, not that I'm, I'm early voting here because I'm gonna go right now, uh, but they did make it a much more convenient option for me. And so that's kind of cool. office. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, you cannot film in there, so I'm going to put away my camera and I'll see you after I vote it. I just said it. You don't get a sticker for putting it in the Dropbox, but you do get the satisfaction of not having to worry about that being a thing for the next two weeks. I voted this way because, um, not because it was like the fastest or the easiest. Obviously I got on a whole train, but it was the earliest way I could vote. That's something that I encourage you to consider in your voting plan is in most states, November 3rd is not the only day you can vote, it is the last day you can vote. So let it be your backup plan. So you may be able to vote by mail, or you may be able to vote early in person, or you may be able to get a mail ballot and stick it in a drop box. And all of those are great options, so you could try one of them, make a plan to do one of them, and then November 3rd is your backup plan. So if anything happens, you run out of stamps, you forget your ID um, if you need one in your state, you it's raining like today and you don't feel like walking in the rain, um, then you have a backup. I think we've got a week left, a week and a half as of me posting this. So make that plan if you've not voted already and Drop your ballot off if you got it as soon as you can, or go vote early on the first day that you can. And probably there will be nothing that goes wrong, in which case you don't need a backup plan and you've just got it off of your list. And you've also made it a little bit easier for the people who don't have any other options or don't have time to do the other options to vote on election day and have shorter lines and all that good stuff. Also, if you are sick of getting election calls and texts in many states voting early, gets you taken off of the campaign's lists and you don't have to be bothered anymore. And you can shift to doing other important things like volunteering with us on Sundays, calling um, voters and letting them know about great state and local election candidates, which you can sign up for below. I know it's a lot of information to keep track of, to process, to deal with. Um, if you need help making your plan, um, you can text VOTE to 30330 and that'll walk you through the process and it'll send you a text reminder, which is kind of nice. Also, you can look up your polling place and if you use that text polling place locator, I helped bring that into existence. So my day job works its way into your life yet again. Thank you for bearing with me and all the voting stuff. I know it's not the only thing that's important, but it is really important. So let me know in the comments. Um, what your plan is to vote, or if you voted already, or if you don't live in the U.S., tell me what your plans are for the weekend, and then we can all read them and be um, hopeful for what we can do with our time. You can sign up to volunteer and make calls with us. There's a link below. It's really not scary. Even if you have phone anxiety, I will train you. We will do it together. It's kind of fun. And then reward yourself for being an active participant in the election process, like I'm about to go do with some Swedish fish. This is probably gonna be my last video before the election. I'm gonna be extraordinarily busy and then I'm gonna try to take a little rest. So I will see you soon. Bye.